I made it clear that my intention was to play, and my intention was to play for the New York Jets. Protection breaks down, and time runs out. Down goes Rodgers in the sack for Leonard Floyd. And now Rodgers sits down. That means that a few plays into game one, Zach Wilson. Holy cow. I cannot believe this. Well, here we are. Uh, so Aaron Rodgers is out for the year. I don't know what stage of grief I'm currently at. I definitely started with shock. Then I was definitely in denial. Kind of felt guilty that I even thought that like we were gonna have a good season. Now I'm just depressed. So what we're gonna do today is re-simulate Aaron Rodgers' career with the Jets. Now to be clear, I don't think that career is over. Yeah. The night is darkest before the dawn and I shall rise yet again like the dark night. Right, that's a Batman. Yeah, yep. But it's obviously fair to say that this has not gone to plan. So Rodgers has openly said that he thinks he's gonna play multiple years. I'm having a blast, so I don't really see this as a one year and done thing. Obviously a lot of that was predicated on him being healthy, not the case anymore, but I'm still going on the assumption he's gonna play at least next year. So what we're gonna do just to make sure he doesn't retire in Madden, we're just gonna bump him down to like 35, make sure he's on the team next year. The way we're gonna go about this, I'm gonna definitely play week one just because I actually wanna enjoy Rodgers being on our team. We're gonna simulate this whole season. I'm not gonna make any moves in this first season. I'm just gonna let this play out as it could have potentially played out in real life. Then in the next off season, we'll look at free agents maybe some trades, see where we have some holes in this team. And then I think next year is most likely the Super Bowl year, but we'll see what happens this year. It's honestly just unbelievable, even like seeing this first scene of just like the high that I felt of Rodgers running out of the tunnel with the American flag. I was like, it's a new day. Yes, yes it is. is. We're gonna actually have fun this season. And literally that lasted maybe five minutes. And look, it goes without saying that the loss of Rodgers is terrible for the Jets. Obviously for him, I can't imagine what he's going through. For the team, it's a huge blow to their season. But I think the thing that gets like a little understated is the fact of like, we lost out on just such a great thing that could have been for the NFL this year. I couldn't wait to see him playing against Patrick Mahomes. Like there was just so many interesting things that could have come out of this season that aren't even possible anymore. And as a lifelong Jets fan, I know it's funny to make us the butt of the joke, rightfully so, to be honest. I will say though, I'm not sorry for those people at the Packers bar in Wisconsin or wherever the heck it was. I'm glad you had to pay for your drinks. So there's a loud roar when Rodgers leaves the game hurt in the first quarter. Seeing the video of you cheering for not having to pay for some drinks because a guy got injured is just sad. Do these fans yeah. kind of deserve it for cheering? A lot of these folks are gonna wake up unhappy about the bar type they had to pay. But honestly watching you be heartbroken that you have to pay that bill and not get the first round pick you thought you'd get makes up for it. We'll probably end up simming some of this game anyway, but I do just wanna get a little bit of action with Rodgers just cause we only got four plays last night and none of them were particularly good. So honestly my only goal for this like drive years I just want to get down to like the one yard line right there I just want to see if we can throw that back shoulder fade that he threw to Wilson in the preseason that hopefully we'll get to see next year but who knows boom there it is it really is sad that we're just not gonna see that at all this season. All right, so game's over. Just ran the simulation for the whole game, so I'm not sure what the stats are, but we'll check that out. Then we'll jump into the next week and see what it looks like. So we won week one, 42 to 24. That's off to a good start. Uh, I do just wanna see the stats from that game since we just ran a sim. So Rodgers had almost 400 yards and four touchdowns. That's great. Wow, Cook and Brees both had about 70 yards and a touchdown, both on 11 attempts, also great. And Garrett went off, 127 for two touchdowns. Conklin had one, Cobb had one, but we're in week two. Let's see real quick. Did anything we do last week earn us any awards? CJ Mosley, all right, that's something. So, I mean, we're off to 1-0. I'm not gonna play any more games for this season unless we hypothetically make it to the Super Bowl. But I think to start, we'll go to mid-season and see what the team looks like there. Okay, mid-season point, three and three. Not what I was hoping for, but the first half of the season was pretty tough. So one score game against the Cowboys, that's pretty good. Glad we finally beat the Patriots is great. Kind of not surprising we lost to the Chiefs, but only by two points. So that was another close one. We blew out the Broncos, which- Keep uh, my coach's names out of his mouth. And a loss to the Eagles. I mean, honestly, I think for where this team is at at three and three, it is honestly pretty realistic to what could have happened in real life. So I think I'm just gonna let this keep playing out and we'll see what happens. I think we won't go all the way 
way to the playoffs. We'll probably stop like in week 14 and see what it looks like. And then we'll go from there. Accidentally went a little bit too far. Week 17, 10 and five. I'll take that. That's good. Real quick, just looking at this schedule. Beat the Giants. Wow, low scoring. Losses to the Chargers. Not sure about to the Raiders there, but who knows. Beat the Bills again. I'll take that. Beat the Dolphins. Beat the Falcons. The Texans. Dolphins. And Commanders. So honestly, I mean, the second half of the schedule was always where it was gonna get a little bit lighter and there was some more winnable games. So I think it's looking pretty good. So I think at 10 and five, we should be pretty good to make the playoffs. I mean, the division is not wrapped up just yet, just because the Bills are only a game behind us, but we did beat them twice, so there's something there. So let's sim to the playoffs and we'll see if we win the division. Interesting, so we're 10 and seven, playing in the wildcard game, and we won the division. So I think we're the number four seed here. We are. So Rogers season number one, wildcard game in the playoffs, kind of what we expected. We'll jump in. We got a home playoff game at Jet Live Stadium. That's always good. So we're just gonna watch this game in the Super Sim and see what happens. I mean, right now we're tied 14-14, 21-14. 24, we might jump in if it gets close. Ooh, 27, 28, three minutes left. On defense, second and two. I do kind of want to jump in here. I think we'll just try to get the stop here and then maybe we'll simulate the offense and just watch. And yeah, third down stop, all right, there we go. So we're up by one, I don't want to interfere with the game, so we're just gonna see what happens in the game cast like this. So it's third and one, I think the Jets should be able to pull this out, two minute warning, Ravens to left, three timeouts. I think if we get this first down, it should be pretty in the bag, but the Ravens can still stop the clock. Probably gonna be another handoff here, I'd have to imagine. Oh, we're gonna throw and pick it up. All right, out of bounds, not the most ideal there, but first down. QB draw, that was a that was a bold choice. Injuries are turned off for this because that would literally defeat the whole purpose of this video if Rodgers got hurt. Yeah, just hand it off, play it safe. They're gonna get a timeout, no timeouts. We're going for it on fourth and five. At the 40, this is a bold choice. If we don't get this, they're gonna be in field goal range. And they got it. I would have punted, but now we got victory formation, kneel it down, and there it is. Wow, that hat looks so weird on Salah's head. That is very strange. Rodgers was able to do what I don't think any quarterback for the Jets has done since Mark Sanchez, if I remember correctly. No, because we never made it with Fitz, never with Geno, never with Darnold, Wilson. So that's a wild card win and we're moving on to the next round. Divisional round against the 12 and five Bengals. This is not an easy matchup. I think defensively the Jets might have the edge, but offensively it's pretty even. So we're back in the super sim here. Jets already up seven, nothing. Tied at the end of the first. Up 10-3, tied 10-10. 17 10, tied 17 all. So the Bengals are up ooh, 31 20 going in half. Down by about a score, down by 11, down by three. We're gonna pause it there. Wow, we just took the lead. That happened so fast. Oh, Aaron Rodgers passed to Randall Cobb for 10 yard touchdown. That took the lead with 155 left. So we're gonna watch the rest of this game in the broadcast view just to see what happens. But two minutes left to go up by four. It's gonna be tough. Wow, almost 400 yards and four touchdowns from Burrow. Bengals are driving down the field. Got about 90 seconds left. Ooh, this is not good. Now the field goal does nothing for them here. They need to score, but they are driving down the field right now. Don't have the most hope in this because they're really driving down the field, but maybe the Jets D can make a stop here. Get them down, inbounds, perfect. I mean, they still have three timeouts too. So first and goal, Burrow. Easy touchdown. Yeah, the Jets might be going home here. Jets do have three timeouts though, so they only need a field goal. It's not over yet. They could force overtime, but it's not looking good. Just to put it back in like the real life perspective of what this whole simulation was about, in this scenario, divisional round, down by three, 40 seconds, as a Jets fan, A, I'd be sh pants, but also B, there's no other quarterback realistically for this team that I'd rather have other than Aaron Rodgers. So they gotta get to the 41 yard line to get Zerline in range. I mean, it's not, impossible slightly improbable but out of bounds that's good third and two yeah i don't know it's it's a long shot i mean they got to get about what 30 yards here maybe not in this play obviously but they got to get about 30 more yards on this drive and they got it there that that was a first down i wasn't sure because the field goal target line is what actually threw me off there 
No, a pick. It's over. Oh, the disappointment. Man, that really felt like real life for a second. I was like invested as if it was a real game. They were doing double coverage. There was really nothing there. Marcus Joyner takes that easy. Yeah, I think the Jets D just really didn't come out to play here. I mean, 142 yards for uh, Jamar Chase there. And there it is. The Jets have been eliminated by the Bengals. Aaron Rodgers year one. I do think I know some of the moves I might want to make in the offseason. I'm not sure who's a free agent this year, so we'll have to check that out but I do think wide receiver is gonna be a big like target of need for the offseason defensively maybe a cornerback I think safety is probably weak in Madden even though in real life I think that's not the biggest weakness for the Jets but I think we'll see what's available in free agency and then we'll go from there so real quick before we jump in the offseason here we'll check out the yearly rewards Rodgers was fifth in MVP I mean that's pretty good for his first year here I think we'd all be happy with that Sala was fifth in uh, coach of the year. Somehow was not in the offensive player of the year for the AFC rankings, but was fifth in MVP. And the Jaguars beat the 49ers in the Super Bowl. That is crazy. I mean, good for Trevor Lawrence. Even slightly a little bit more depression to the Adam Gase era where we could have had Trevor Lawrence, but neither here nor there. Let's go into the re-sign period and we'll take a look to see who's a free agent. So I didn't do any negotiating during the season, uh, but we're gonna need to take a look here. There's definitely some players who I do wanna bring back. Dalvin Cook's definitely one of them. Becton, I think is another one. Vera Tucker's definitely one. Cole Hardman, I think we could get away with. And I think some of the rest of these guys are kind of hit or miss, but I think let's start with the big ticket guys first. So actually number one priority is we're gonna accept the option on Elijah Vera Tucker. That one's easy. I think let's try to bring back Cook. I mean, the deal he wants is pretty doable. He does have a lot of interest in the team. Let's just bump it to six with like a $3.5 million bonus. And he's back, perfect. Even though I do love Brees Hall, I think Cook in Madden simulation probably will be the better running back. So he's actually pretty important to have on this team. Now, Becton. He wants to be back with his team. I think he is in the long-term future of this team. And I think Rodgers might only be here maybe two more years, but realistically, we're gonna try to focus on just the next one. So I think we'll offer him a four-year deal, give him 5.5 for 5 million. And he's back, perfect. Now here's where we're gonna have to get a little picky and choosy because I do think there are probably gonna be some better options in free agency and we only have 36 million. We could restructure some contracts, including Rodgers. I mean, McCall Harmon, I don't think you're gonna be back. I do like Bryce Huff in real life. I don't think in Madden he's actually gonna probably have much of an impact just cause like in real life, the Jets are such a rotational defense that I don't think that's gonna come into Madden so much. Same with Carl Lawson, Adrian Amos, I'm okay with letting go. Jordan Whitehead, I would like back. I do think he's pretty good. I think we'll give him a one year deal and maybe lower the salary and the signing and see what happens. Yeah, he's going free agency. I think it's okay. I think we could potentially get a better safety option in free agency. We're gonna reject Zach Wilson's fifth year option. I'm just not interested to be honest in committing any money to him. All right, before we jump into free agency, I wanted to take a look at the lineup and just see where we actually have some like areas of concern here. Now, either we have two Mekhi Bectons or the game's bugged. Gonna go with the latter. Now I think receiver is definitely a place where we need to make an upgrade. I mean, tight end as well. To me, I think that one of the weakest parts of this team is the line and receiver. Man, safety is really weak. Linebacker is really weak. Corner's looking all right. And I think we can maybe try to upgrade the line a little bit. I think the last thing before we jump into free agency, I just want to take a look at some contracts here. I think what we're going to try to do is just trade some players away here to make some cap space. I don't expect any team to really have a ton of interest here. Oh, there's uh, Vikings. Will the Vikings give us a second round pick? Ooh, okay. Now, what if I just give them a third and a fourth? And we make that deal, perfect. All right, so Zach Wilson to the Vikings for a second round pick and we give them a, a third and a fourth. I think it's probably a little too much value to be honest, but I think that second round pick will actually give us better trade assets to upgrade this team. All righty, so jumping into free agency here, we do have some good linebacker options right at the top. Cleo Mack is probably a little too old for me, but could still be pretty good. Yeah, just not like really the top end like talent that I was hoping for here. So I think we will offer Rashawn Gary. He does have a lot of interest in coming here and linebacker is one of our biggest weaknesses. I think we'll go 11.5 with like a 15 mil bonus. Right now we have a pretty good offer and we are at the top. He would be really good to upgrade our linebackers. Bobby Wagner's another one. I 
think maybe a little too old. And we have CJ Mosley already in that position. Receiver was really not what I was looking for here. Ryan Neal has no interest in being on this team. Yeah, I think it's like receiver would have been the place where we really could have like taken someone, but the options are just pretty slim. So I think we'll evaluate these offers and see what happens. And we got them both. Okay, so that's a good start. So we did get a pretty big upgrade to right outside linebacker. We'll probably move Quincy to the other linebacker spot because I do think he does have some potential and the punter is just the punter. So I think for now, we're gonna leave this here. We did get a good upgrade at right outside linebacker, so we're improving. Hmm. Where do we go first? So I think what we do for now is target left tackle first, because that's definitely a pretty big need. We actually have to swap this over to the Packers, because in real life, this would be the Packers pick. And let's see if they'll just give us, we'll just swap first and second. Will that work? So we'll have a second round pick. Cool, so the Packers have our first round pick, but let's see what we can do. We could potentially try to trade back up into the first round, but I kind of want to go with just like talent that we know is good, just because I think with our window being so small with Rodgers, we probably won't actually see the development of any players. So let's go look at receivers. I mean, the first thing that comes to mind is maybe we go after Mike Evans. I mean, he would be a pretty big upgrade. He is expensive though. Definitely a pretty hard move to make. Oh, I was not expecting that to go through. JFM had a huge contract. I actually did really want to use JFM on the inside this year, but Devontae Adams with Aaron Rodgers has worked well in the past. And I was like, oh, that'd be fun to bring him back here. It was sort of a rumor this off season, this past off season, I should say, that he could want out of Oakland. Oakland, that he could want out of Vegas, I can't speak. Uh, but yeah, now he's a Jet. I didn't think that was gonna go through, so that's a huge move, huh? Where does that leave us? <laughs> okay, so offensively, we have Rodgers at quarterback, Cook and Hall, that I think we'll keep both of them. I honestly think we'll probably try to trade Michael Carter just to clear some space, because I don't think he'll get really any carries. Um, but now we have Devontae Adams and Garrett Wilson. That is a deadly duo. I still do think the position we need to target here is uh, left tackle. And I actually do know of a lineman who plays left tackle. Oh my God, he makes 40 million. Okay, another one I wasn't sure was gonna go through. We are getting David Bakhtiari from the Packers, another reuniting uh, with Aaron Rodgers for a first round pick in CJ Mosley. I, a first round pick is high for sure. In real life, I think he might actually just be cut by the Packers next year. Apparently that's the, the rumor going around. Although we do obviously have a whole middle linebacker now, Mosley was making a ton of money. <sighs> I don't know, I think he is a key piece to this defense, but I think we could probably go younger and get someone who might play a bigger impact for less money than he, he was making. Ooh, okay. So Isaiah Simmons for a 2025 third, 2026 fourth and fifth. So we do get a nice young linebacker in here that I think does improve the defense and only for some draft picks. We're going full Rams here and just saying F them picks. But CJ Mosley was like an 81 in his young 30s and now we get a 26 year old 80 middle linebacker. I do think that's an upgrade for a much smaller salary. So this one went through straight up, didn't think that was gonna happen either. Uh, so Lincoln Tomlinson for Dalton Reisner. So the reason for this trade, even though it's slightly a downgrade, is Lincoln had a huge contract. So now we get a little bit cheaper and get a little more money to play with here, which I think is good. I do feel good about Bakhtiari at left tackle, Reisner at left guard. Joe Tipman, I think, could be the center of the future, so I will probably leave him for now. Barry Tucker is definitely the guy at right guard, and Becton is definitely the guy at right tackle. So I think for, the, for now, the line is what it is. I think Isaiah Simmons is an upgrade to middle linebacker, so that was pretty good. Definitely upgraded a right with uh, Rashawn Gary. Now, I think the last position I want to even look at is safety because both of them are pretty weak. But other than that, I think we are in a kind of improved position. And I think we do have some more picks to play with. So I think we can make another move or two. And then I think we're ready to go to the draft, even though we have like no picks for this year. All right, so we're trying out a little strategy here. So I'm targeting a bunch of guys who I think actually do improve the team. And all these guys have gotten 
no offers. Sam Darnold's just here for the meme because we do need a back quarterback. He has a lot of interest and he's literally gonna be offered pennies to be here. But yeah, so what I'm doing is literally offering him the base salary that I could offer them just so I have more cap room to play with. But I hope, not really think, I hope that because they have no other offers, they will just accept us. Yeah, so we didn't get Darnold. I mean, that's to be expected. It also doesn't really matter. Still negotiating for uh, fullback. Doesn't really move the needle. Didn't get Zach Ertz. And you know, safety is a need. So I do think we're gonna actually have to up the offers on these guys a little bit just to see if we can get them. Yeah, that puts us up for Adrian Amos. So I think that one should go through. And Jerron Curse still has no offers. So I think that could work. And I think if we do sign him, we move into free safety just so we have and upgraded that position as well. And yeah, so we got Amos, so that's good. That's a good upgrade. We had to offer him a little more money than we wanted. And now same thing with Jerron Curse, that the Vikings are interested. I mean, he's got no interest to be here. Yeah, I think we're just gonna withdraw the offer on this one just cause it's, uh, I think not worth offering him more money for kind of an average player. All right, so I think the last position I'm gonna try to upgrade is tight end. Now, never said this was gonna be super realistic, sort of, but Kyle Pitts, he's got one year left on his contract, 90 overall, he's a star. But he really hasn't done anything with the Falcons, so I do think maybe we can make this happen and give him a nice little home in New Jersey. So the Falcons signed Kirk Cousins as their new starting quarterback. So we're really just taking Desmond Ritter here just for salary cap purposes, but I think this could potentially go through. Okay, we're really close. Oh, it's so close. Is this gonna be an overpay? I think it might be, but I think if we're working with 2026 stuff, who really cares? We're just give them all the picks and see if this gets it done. Oh my God, it's so close. It might be that second that's gonna get it done, but it's so, okay, perfect, we got it done. All right, so obviously a little unrealistic, but a huge upgrade at tight end. So now Kyle Pitts is our starting tight end. So we got Rodgers, Cook and Hall. I really debated trading one of these guys, but I do think in simulation having both of them will really make a big difference. And I really love Brees Hall, so I just can't do that to him. Receiver, we have Devontae, Garrett, Lazard, and Brownlee. Brownlee's another one who I think in real life could develop, but I think in the game probably won't. Safety's still weak. I think like we do need an upgrade over Tony Adams. We just, I just don't know who else we can actually bring in. I mean, we have some picks to play with, so let's see if we can upgrade safety before we get out of here. All right, I think we're going a little crazy on this last one. I think we're gonna to try to give him a first round pick for Tyron Matthew. He's old and makes a good amount of money. Max Mitchell's just in here for salary cap. Yeah, I think let's give it a shot. Let's just see where it's at and how far off. Oh, it's through, okay. I was gonna say, let's see how far off we are, but I mean, it's not the best deal, obviously. It's definitely a huge upgrade at the position and I think something we desperately needed. I feel a lot better with him at the position than Tony Adams. So it's a pretty decent secondary. Pick wise, I mean, we are down to our scraps here, but I actually have one thought is that once we go past this draft, so if I simulate to next season, since I don't even think we have any picks in this draft. Then I think we'll actually get one more year of draft picks to work with, make our final moves. As you might've guessed from all the draft picks I was picking, I decided that this is gonna be Rogers last year, I think. I'm gonna set his age to 40, which it will be in real life in this season. If he retires, he retires. If he doesn't, then we go again. Okay, so the last moves we're gonna make before you start the season, because I kind of do feel a little pressure that it's kind of do or die here. So we do have the 2027 draft to work with now. Left and right end, I'm feeling a little weak at. And I think with the picks we have in that draft, we could probably package it together to pick up a pretty good upgrade. Now the question is, who do we wanna to try to target? I mean, left end is just like, honestly not that inspiring. I mean, Demarcus Lawrence, cause he's older, could be a good fit. It just makes a good amount of money. I'm just trying to think who I would actually want as an upgrade on this team. I mean, Chase Young, 88 and 25. He's a superstar. Aaron Donald is marked as a trade target veteran. I mean, look, let's just see what happens. Oh, we're not gonna have the we're not gonna have the money for this at all. Actually, wait, let's try something here. Okay, so we restructured a bunch of contracts and now we have about 35 million in cap. Now let's just see if a first and a second will get us Aaron Donald 
from the Rams. I feel like it's possible, but I feel like we're just still not gonna be there. Yeah, we're about halfway. That's not gonna go through. We don't have enough to work with there. I'm not sure if this will go through either because he's so young, but... Ooh. So now the decision is, do we try to trade up from like 2025 picks to try to make the deal better for the Rams? I feel like that is the move. Let me see if I can get the commander's pick. They're projected for the second pick this year. Can we do this? Future picks for that? Yeah, I think the second pick is just gonna be too hard to trade for. What about pick nine from the Dolphins? It's so close. I feel like we gotta just go like mid, like right outside the top 10. About 14 from the Falcons. Okay, so that goes through. Now asset wise, we might not have enough to make this happen anyway now, but maybe that first round pick will be enticing for them. He is 33, so that should make him slightly easier to trade for. Oh, it's so close. Ugh, we're so close to making this happen here. All right, so we signed back Desmond Ridger to now trade him. Also, our backup for the season will be Ben DiNucci because... Ben DiNucci! So now we just see if Desmond Ritter actually pushes this trade through. It does. Okay, perfect. So we have a first and a second next year. Now, if this doesn't go through, I think the dream's dead. Fingers crossed. Ooh. We got it done. I think it took literally like an hour to make that happen with all the restructuring and trades we had to do, but he's now on our team, so that's a win. And to complete the plan, we moved Will McDonald to left outside linebacker. And now I think we just need to move Donald. Actually, no, we'll leave Donald at right. And we'll move Jermaine to the left. I think that's actually where he started, but I think I moved him to the right end. And I think with that, we're ready to jump into the season. I mean, we're gonna set the goal for Super Bowl. I mean, it's Super Bowl or bust for sure. And here is the team for the year. I think we have definitely improved. I mean, Devontae is a huge upgrade. Definitely improved on the line, I think. Definitely an upgrade at tight end. On defense, I mean, definitely a bit stronger at linebacker with Rashawn Gary. I think Isaiah Simmons is kind of a lateral move from CJ Mosley. On the line, we're going to bump up Michael Clemens to be the second interior lineman. Aaron Donald on the outside is huge. I mean, secondary looks strong. I think we have a team that can actually contend here for a Super Bowl. Opening up against the defending champion, Jacksonville Jaguars. I think it is pretty much a Super Bowl or bust this year. I mean, we gave up basically all our draft capital for the next like three years. So I think we have a team that can contend. I don't really know what's gonna happen in simulation though, because I think anything's possible. Aaron Rodgers, year two. I mean, he's 40 years old now. So I think this could be the last season of his career. We will play a little bit on offense and defense just to kind of check out the team we built for the last couple hours. But I think we should have a good chance here in this game. We are definitely switching to a pass here because we have press coverage on both sides. And I think one of them, either Wilson or Adams, is gonna get free. Yep, it's Adams. Yep, he's gone. Why is he so slow? First play touchdown. I mean, that connection, the Rodgers to Devontae Adams connection is back in New Jersey, agent zero. Well, not in New Jersey because we're in Jacksonville, but for the Jets, you get what I mean. One play, one touchdown. Like, we've improved overall, but there's certain guys like Michael Clemens is still pretty young and not really developed. Jermaine Johnson, same thing. I mean, there's potential, even Will McDonald. I mean, he is talented, but I think overall, he's just so young and not developed. And we're starting off not that great. There you go, good sack. Jermaine Johnson. That was mainly Johnson on that sack, but I think Rashawn Gary was in there as well. Four-man rush too, so that's also promising that we're able to get that much pressure. Spin move, ooh, good deflection there. Wish there was names on the back of the jerseys. Don't know why there's not, so I don't actually know who made that deflection because the numbers are all screwed up. I think it was, yeah, it was Adrian Amos. They're in long, ooh, there was a screen pass there. I was like, we got so much initial pressure. I was like, there's no way that uh, that's not a screen. Please go in the end zone and it's not gonna, sick. Not a great place to start here for sure. Just gotta get some room. You got Pitts and Adams on the field. We got two pretty good options here. Pitts, high point, yep, there we go. We're obviously not gonna play every game this season. It'll be the same like last year where we'll go probably to mid-season then go kind of game by game. 
Now in real life, I don't actually know what's gonna happen with Dalvin Cook next year, because I think we signed him to a one-year deal. I think the idea was obviously initially we're going all out with Rodgers, but with him out, I don't know what the plan will be for uh, next year. I think if Rodgers comes back, a lot of the guys uh, on the team will probably want to stick around, but it's kind of hard to predict that far ahead since you know we're week two now and we're already thinking about next season because this is the life of a Jets fan. Adams, I think, is definitely a big upgrade from what we had last year because, I mean, Wilson's good and is great as number one, but having Adams as a true, like, second option there is just going to make such a difference. Let's see if we can get Wilson on the out route here. Corner route. Ooh, yep, got it, perfect. Two drives, two touchdowns. I mean, Wilson and Adams uh, scoring early on. Yeah, that's definitely two feet in. Two score lead to start. I mean, team's looking really good. Oh, they're going for it. I mean, honestly, pretty good call. Oh, I think I rushed the wrong way. Ooh, sacked. Will McDonald from the linebacker position we moved into. Great change. That was beautiful. That was exactly what we needed. I mean, honestly, right call probably for them to go for it there, but still, that was great for us. Ooh, gotta make a miss. Look, I don't know what the future holds for Zach Wilson, but the one thing I can say confidently is that I don't really think he can run a two-minute drill like this. Yeah, with Rodgers, there's just such a confidence that comes with watching him play that you just have the exact opposite of with Wilson. It's just, he's still young, there's a lot of potential, obviously, but I really wish he could have sat under Rodgers for like a full year. I think it's a bad pass. I'm just nervous now, like playing the rest of the season out. Ooh, make a miss. Quick to Devontae. Ah, yeah, it's second in like a pretty long one, but I think on the QB sneak here, we should be able to get it. Yep, Aaron Rodgers, baby. I think the line is actually gonna be like the biggest improvement we made this season, but we'll see how it actually goes in simulation. It's a totally different game when you're playing versus the computer's playing. So I've actually just been playing this game out because I just wanted to mess around with a team that I just spent a couple hours building. And honestly, really good. Aaron Donald, definitely worth all the effort that it took to get. Devontae Adams, I think, will be a huge addition to the team this year. Like, he definitely went off in this game. And I think... There we go, I think this is the last play of the game. Rashawn Gary, another new addition, gets a sack. And there we go, starting off the season 1-0. This uh, might be the last ride with uh, Rodgers, so hopefully we do well in the simulation. Ooh, and this is what we like to see. 7-0 and to start the season. So won by a touchdown in week two against the Titans. Easily won against the Bengals. Same with the Bills. Close against the Bears. Somewhat close against the Seahawks. And yeah, kind of close against the Cardinals too. So not really blowouts, but I mean, cannot really complain about 7-0. I don't think there's anything I actually could really do for this team, but let's just sim ahead to closer to the end of the season. Just take a look at the record. Um, you know, if things start to fall apart, then we'll make some lineup adjustments maybe. But I think this team stands a pretty good chance to be a Super Bowl contender. 15 and one, let's go. So Rodgers has about 4,200 yards, 31 touchdowns. Not that bad. Same with Devin Cook. I mean, 1,000 yards, six touchdowns. It's nothing actually like too crazy. Good from uh, Dalvin Cook and Brees. I mean, 200 from Rodgers is probably not likely at this stage of his career, but we'll take it. Ah, uh, this is where the success is coming. So we really do have a balanced like wide receiver group here. So Devonday's is over 1,000. Wilson's almost at 1,000. Lazard could get it before the end of the year. Same with Pitts. Let's look at defensively. What's our sack numbers looking like? Aaron Donald, 16 sacks. Okay, so this just justifies all the work that that trade took just because honestly, 16 sacks is just a game wrecker for this team. Nine for Quinnen, eight and a half for Sean Gary, good addition. Will McDonald only had the one. I think that was in the game that we actually played in. What about interceptions? Isaiah Simmons with three, that's good. Reed with two, Amos with two. None for Sauce. So yeah, I think this uh, team stands a really good chance to uh, compete in the playoffs. And we won 16 and one. Are we the number one seed? Let's take a look. I imagine we have to be the number one seed. We are, so we get the first round by and we'll have home field advantage for the playoffs, which is great. Let's take a look at upgrades real quick. Garrett has a bunch of upgrades. I think we have four points for him, so we can get him up well over a 90. Garrett Wilson up to a 94 now with these upgrades. This is great. This is perfect for what we need for the playoffs. And it's honestly really great that it's like a bunch of the guys you brought in are actually the ones that are getting upgrades here. So I think that really means that the work we put in, kind of going all in for this season was really worth it. Alrighty, so about 25 minutes later, finally used all of our staff points, all of our upgrades, and the team is looking great. 
So before we start this game against the Ravens, let's take a look at the squad. So with the upgrades and morale, the team's looking really good. So Rodgers up to a 91, Cook is up to a 93, Hall's up to 88, Devontae's 99, Lazard's 82, Garrett's an 94, Pitts is 99. We got most of the line, we got all the line in the 80s now. Becton 82, Vera Tucker's an 86, and Bakhtiari is a 93. Defensively, honestly, all our additions really good. Donald's back up to a 99. Quinn and Williams is almost a 99. Sauce is actually a 99 now. I didn't realize that one. Tyre Matthews, 92. I mean, the team is just very good all around the board right now. So I really do think this is the year to win the Super Bowl. I mean, there is no guarantees Rodgers will be back next year. He could. I haven't looked at our upcoming free agents to see who's going to be a free agent uh, next year if Rodgers does come back. But I do think this is the year to win the Super Bowl. And we are the number one seed at home at MetLife Stadium. So we'll jump into the sim here. I think we'll let it go for now. and We'll just keep an eye on the score, make sure it doesn't uh, get out of hand here. But we're tied at seven in the second, down by seven. I will jump in if I have to, but we're tied right now. Down by seven again. Ooh, down by seven with about four minutes left. I think we have to jump in here. And look, there's every chance I am actually the detriment to this team, but I'm definitely not going down by a computer telling me I'm losing. So wait, hold up. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Where is my team? Why do I have all these backups in? Why do I have literally every backup on the field right now? I don't know who Hess, Jordan, I mean, I know Brownlee, but like why, why are all these backups on the field? I mean, we're running it with Brees right now. We'll take it to the two minute warning. Yeah, where is my team? Is the Sim trying to like screw me right now? Yeah, why is my entire team backups? I have to look at the subs, but for right now, I mean, we'll take the rushing yards with Brees and get it to probably the two minute warning here, but yeah, it must be something within the subs because like just backups are playing. I don't understand like what is going on right now. I mean, granted, we're still gonna do it anyway because we're, we're them, but I am a little nervous now. Brees has 188 yards. It must be something within the subs. I don't know how to change it. I'll have to look after this game, but I do think I could still get the win here. Man, it's gonna be stressful. I think I actually do have to play this game out. Yeah, I don't know what happened, but I literally have only backups on the field. I'm so confused right now. What is going on? I mean, granted, we're still getting it done somehow. I think I'm gonna call timeout here. Uh, I don't know what's going on. I am genuinely a bit nervous here because this game is far from over. I mean, if I have to, I will quit out and I will change whatever setting and redo this game because this is some BS. We built the God Squad, not, not the Scrub Squad. I mean, it didn't seem like it happened throughout the year because everyone was still getting stats. So I just don't understand what is happening. Oh no, Lamar's gonna get it. No, and I think they're in field goal range. Yeah, I don't know what's wrong with this game. Okay, so we're back. Uh, I looked at the sliders and it was a little high, but I actually think the issue might've been with progressive fatigue, but I'm hoping that in this game, it's gonna be fine. Okay, so it looks like the starters are in. I don't know what happened there. I'm very confused. I'm kind of just at a loss. So I'm just gonna hope that things go correctly this time. So let's jump into the sim and check it out. We're up by seven right now. We're in the second, tied up by seven. Tied again, going in right near halftime. So it's a little more of a back and forth game this time. Up by seven in the third, tied at 28. Let's stop it here. We're up by seven. Let's jump forward just a little bit more. And I think we'll have to quickly stop to make sure. So we're tied at 35 with about two and a half minutes left. So let's jump in. We're on defense. They're in a good position. And yeah, I think it happened again. I'm just so confused. So I think for the most part, no, we have a lot of backups on the field right now. I don't understand what's happening. I think we're just gonna have to play it out just to make sure that we don't lose the game here because yeah we don't even have like sauce dj reed like i just don't understand i almost feel like we're better off like letting them score or something i don't want to have to do this for a third time but i'm glad i caught that because we could have lost the game there and not even realized that it was literally just because our all of our backups are in i doubt we're going to get turnover with yeah, let them score, let them score, let them score. I'd rather try our chances on offense here. All right, well, all our starters are in, so we'll see who comes out on offense, but I have a feeling it's gonna be backups. I just don't know what we're supposed to do here. Oh, 
Ooh, this is good news. This is very good news. I think let's get it down here. I don't want to give him the ball back so quickly. I mean, this is amazing. Okay, so offensively, we still have all our starters, so that's great. I just, I want to run a little more timeout. I think I can easily do this to Adams here. Oh man, wasn't even that crazy hyped about the kickoff return because I'm just like, hey, I mean, it's like 1230 here and my girlfriend's asleep in the other room, but I don't know what's going on. All this work, I'm not throwing it away because Madden's buggy. Stop him. Last time out, call it. I think we can get in field goal range here to win it, but we're gonna get iced. Oh man. Gotta get to about the 40, but realistically, we gotta get much further than that. I mean, honestly, thankfully, we have our actual offense out here, not backups. I think that, yeah. Don't let him get in field goal range. No. Oh, man. Are they going for it? They have Tucker. He missed. Thank God. I was literally considering quitting. I'm not even gonna lie to the video. This is some um, BS. I mean, we can try a 67 yard field goal. We're gonna get ice, this is gonna be impossible. I wish I had any idea, but I don't really know. I think this might be good. Oh my God. I wish I could scream right now, but I'm gonna wake up my girlfriend. Oh my God, we did it. I don't know how, but we did it. This is literally insane. Oh my God, yeah, all my starters just sitting on the bench doing nothing. I don't understand why. I have checked everything and I just don't know. So I turned everything for subs down to almost like the lowest it possibly can be on both offense and defense. And I swear, if this happens again, I'm gonna lose my mind. <laughs> Somehow, against all odds, we are in the conference championship against the Titans. We are going to win this game and we won't have subs issues. I don't know what I was doing with my hands there. I'm losing my mind. <laughs> we are going to sim forward and fingers crossed over the best. We're down by seven already going in the second. Approaching halftime, still down by seven. In the third, tying it up at seven now, that's good. Down by three with about four minutes left. It look, all right, so Dalvin Cook, I see Dalvin Cook's name there. I think we're still good. We'll continue going and we'll, let's just go by change the possession just to see what happens. Our ball with about 2.30 left. We'll just go play by play here. Moving it forward, two minute warning, third and four. Oof. I think we're gonna jump in here. I think we're gonna send him like that. Ooh, bad play. I think we have to go for it here, yeah. I mean, season's not exactly on the line, but it's definitely not best case scenario here. I just am like, who is Jordan? I don't understand this game at all sometimes. He's open. Oh my God, he's open. Oh my God, make a miss. Ooh, baby. This is stressing me out. I think we're gonna try the screenplay here. Hopefully this, this works. I'm just like, hold on. Who is Jordan at wide receiver? Dexter Jordan, 18, but somehow he's number 11 on the field. I do not understand this game in the slightest bit because it's so damn buggy. Wow, that was a great block by Vera Tucker. Uh, I think we're gonna go to the line quick here. Then we're gonna try to hit Lazard on the drag here. I mean, we are ready in field goal range, so we really just don't wanna blow that. Oh, get out, throw it away, no. Tried to throw it away. Rodgers just does not have the speed to do it. And that took us out of field goal range too. Garrett, first down. Let's go, baby. Come on, Garrett, keep it running. I don't like any of our options there. We gotta throw it away. We just can't take a big sack. Uh, phrasing. I'm looking either Wilson or Pitts here. Wilson, touchdown. No, he dropped it. 30 seconds left. Wilson, money. I, I think I gotta call timeout. I, I don't know. That was probably a bad decision, but oof, what are we going here? I think either Pitts or Wilson, probably Pitts, Pitts. Let's go, baby. This game can't screw me over. Man, this would be probably a pretty easy experience if the game decided to work properly. We got no timeouts here and they need a touchdown. So, oh, Will Levis is actually their quarterback and they're the conference championship. That is a development. I mean, DeAndre Hopkins, Derrick Henry, they have playmakers all over this field. So I didn't get a chance to see if our actual defense is out. I think that's a backup. Yeah, okay. No, 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 we have our actual defense out. This is, this is good developments. This is what we want. Oh no, that's not what we want. He dropped it. I don't even know who he threw it to. Whoever 17 is just fumbled the bag. That literally could have been a touchdown. 
Oh my god, seven seconds. Thank god a field goal can't do it, but my heart cannot take this. I don't even think I'm gonna rush. I think I'm just gonna drop in coverage with, uh, with Johnson. Oh my god, one second. Give me Simmons and everybody drop. For the love of god, do not do this to me. I might have actually thrown my controller at the screen if that happened. Oh, baby. Well, we are Super Bowl bound somehow. I don't understand what's happening. And here we are 16 and one against the 12 and five Philadelphia Eagles. Real quick, let's look at yearly awards and see if Rodgers is up here. Number six, he was five last year. Sala is coach of the year, so that is good. And Rodgers is eight on offensive player of the year. Doesn't matter, we're in the Super Bowl. We somehow did it. Ooh, we do have upgrades for a bunch of players. So I think we're gonna use these. I mean, we didn't do this at all in season one, so we had a ton of XP, but we're gonna get all these guys upgraded, put our best foot forward and try to win the Super Bowl. And hopefully the game does not screw us. Rodgers up to a 94. I mean, I think realistically, even in real life, if in year two they made it to the Super Bowl, you gotta feel like that's gotta be it for him. I really don't know if in the game he will retire at the end of this season, but I'm playing this as if it's it, cause I don't think I can continue any longer. Yeah, it looks like the roster's set, so I think we're good to jump in this game. But look, I've been a fan of this team my whole life. If we're going to the Super Bowl, there's only one jersey I want to wear, and that is this, honestly, I think classic jersey that is way better than what they got right now, but hopefully in the future they change to something a little better. AT&T Stadium, Jets versus Eagles, probably Aaron Rodgers' last game for the Super Bowl. In the career resim with the Jets, can he get it done? I think we're gonna go back to the simulation for a bit. Uh, we'll just go by quarter for this game, just to keep an eye on it, but down by three to start, down by 10 to start, oof. We got the ball at the 48. I'm not taking any chances in this game, to be completely honest with you. We're gonna make sure we win this game. Second and 19 too, oof, we're off to a real rough start on this drive. Pitts? Oh, did he catch it? He did, first down. I actually don't like this play at all. We'll go for this. We'll try to get Adams on the crossing route. Beat the middle linebacker. There it is. Down to the six. Let's go, baby. I'd like to get Devonte on like a cross here and get him deep. But also, I think I could have Pitts on the corner route here. Too early? Oh, just too early. Third and 10. I mean, a field goal is not bad here, but definitely not the outcome we're looking for. Yeah, let's go on this crosser here. Pull it back. Devonte. Damn, down to the two. Do we go for it? I think we do. It's a good field position for it. We're gonna go on this, and I think we can get Wilson on the out route to the corner. Let's actually change Devontae to go inside. Ooh, they got a guy for it perfectly. Oh, sack. Not what we want. Let's hope the D, yeah, the D gets a quick stop. All right, perfect. We're definitely jumping back in. We are making sure we get this game back in order. We got no momentum in our way. Gotta get a score for the half. I mean, we'll get the ball back, but still. Let's go, Wilson. Wilson's open. Let's go, Wilson. Get this to the two minute warning. Get Devontae in the cross, maybe. Why are you running backwards? I think it's a bad formation. I shouldn't have done hurry up. Maybe get Wilson on the out route. Get out of bounds. There we go. Minute 35. Devontae's got way more space for the slant on this one. I think this is it. How do you drop that? It's a big third down here. Want Devontae on the out route or Lazard on the cross, I think. Devontae. Let's go. Feel well game. You know, for a made up game for children, this is stressful. Let's get back to running the ball here. Get the block on the outside, Rucker. Oh, my Janovich. Get a good block here. No way. Gotta get that block, man. Come on, gotta get this Devante. There we go, all right, first down. Only down by six. This is an easy game, easy game. Get the block, get the block, get the block, get the block downfield. Let's go. Oh, he's got gas. Big first down. We just haven't been able to do anything in the red zone. You drop it? Oh, we got it. Third and inches. All right, cool. All right, so I think we're going to go real, real safe here. I mean, I don't think we can fumble on this, but we're just going to go QB draw or QB sneak. And I think we easy get the first down here. Honestly, not even taking any chances. We're doing the same thing until we score. Okay, we got nothing. 
Here we go. Touchdown, baby. Let's go. This is a game for children. I will not lose to a computer. All right, we'll go back to change of possession here. And they score right away. Beautiful. All right, we got about 20 seconds left in the third quarter here. We're only down by five. Come on, Cook. Come on, Cook. Why is he so slow? All right, running here on second down. Only down by five. I mean, field goal does us nothing, obviously. There we go. It was very glitchy. Just got to keep the ball moving. Just got to play smart. Keep the ball moving. No turnovers. Nice gain. That's first down. I like that cross drag. Another first down. Keep running it. Try to get Devontae in the zone if we can. Good play to Pitts. Honestly, just running this cross drag till it stops working. Pitts is wide open. Let's go, baby. First down. Got about 430 left. I think we can afford to chew a little clock here. Just try to get it down. I think we're going to have to play defense because we clearly can't make a stop. I kind of think I want Pitts here. Oh, I was going to change him to a slant. He's open. Come on, Pitts. Come on, Pitts. Let's go for the play action. Wide open. Come on. There we go. Going for two here to make it a, th a three-point game. I kind of want to switch to a run. Yeah, let's do it. No, don't get stuffed. Are we not saying phrasing anymore? Man, not ideal. Yeah, I think we got to play defense here. We're just getting killed in the sim. I mean, granted, this is a very good team, obviously, but pick. Pick, let's go! That is literally a rookie that we somehow drafted. He might have even been an undrafted free agent since we had literally no draft picks, but coming in clutch in the Super Bowl, baby. Now we run the ball. Work the clock. Don't know if I like this as a run play here. Yeah, I'm gonna take it. Big game, big game, get the first. There we go, first down. We can take this all the way down to the two minute warning. Now it's not a lock yet. We do definitely gotta get points on the board. Minimum is field goal, just so it's not a uh, one point game. If we can burn all their timeouts, I think we win the game here. Just gotta get one more first. Ooh, I tried to truck, he did not come at us. Third and one, I think we're just sticking with Cook. I mean, it's, I know the video is about Rodgers, but we gotta play smart here. There we go, first down. I think that's game. And this will do it. The New York Jets are going to be Super Bowl champions in year two with Aaron Rodgers. Rodgers plays 18 years for the Packers, comes to New York. We're gonna pretend he didn't get hurt in real life in year one, but in year two, the New York Jets are Super Bowl champions. Something I will probably never see in my real life, but that's fine. That's what Madden's for. And look, Super Bowl's hard to get to. That's obvious. But I really do hope Rodgers comes back next year in real life and just we have a chance to compete. I think with him, it will just be our best chance we'll ever probably have in my lifetime since we cannot draft a quarterback for our lives. But that's it. Year two. Aaron Rodgers, Super Bowl MVP. Thank you. God. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Aaron Rodgers has achieved what he set out to do in coming to New York. I hope he comes back next season, but who knows? All we can hope for is a speedy recovery and that the team doesn't fall apart this year, but it's the Jets. So we've already done that basically. I'll see you guys next time. Be good people.